20 lawmakers would be on this bipartisan super committee, 10 House members and 10 Senate members. Wyoming Republican John Barrasso is the chairman of the Senate Republican Policy Committee, and he joins me now. Senator, welcome. Uh, good to have Thanks, you here. Martha. You know, Thanks we're hearing we're hearing a lot of this. Uh, Congress it needs to do its job. It has been sent to do its job. Uh, the formulation of yet another committee, uh, I think, is going to add in many ways to the outrage that we've been seeing out there. I just want to pull up this poll numbers as, as we get started here, because Congress has extremely low approval numbers, 13 percent. Is another committee what we need, Senator? Well, there are a lot of proposals out there. That's just one of the proposals. The president, I think, said that he will veto uh, that if it does pass. You need to get the president involved. The president has to discuss and negotiate with Congress as he seeks to raise the debt ceiling of the United States. Martha, this is the sixth time in five years the president is asking to raise the debt ceiling. And when he was in the Senate, he called it unpatriotic and a fail, failure of leadership to have to raise the debt ceiling. He needs to be involved in the discussions. Yeah, well, that, that may be. Uh, but in, in terms of what Congress needs to do to bring forward something that the president, you know, might be able to get interested in and, and get opened up to, I was reminded of, of Bull Simpson. I mean, the president himself instructed Erskine Bowles and Alan Simpson uh, of your home state to get together. They came up with what many people across this country thought were some really strong, good ideas. And it, and it just went away. You know, it, it failed by one vote, and then we never heard much more about it. I mean, where is the sort of stronger sense of common sense in Congress today? Well, you're, you're right. The, the Bowles-Simpson proposal, the president did not embrace it which tells you the president has to be involved in these discussions. It's not enough to just have the House and just have the Senate. Now, the president today said he is going to invite members of Congress or the entire Congress to the White House. I have specific questions for the president, and they have to do with raising the debt ceiling. You don't get a new credit card without first addressing the problem of spending, and the president has to discuss that before he is allowed to raise the debt ceiling. The amount that he's asking for, Martha, is over a million dollars every minute from now until after the 2014 elections. You know, people all across the country know that this is the time to actually talk about spending before one raises the debt ceiling you know, I, and I actually think... deals with, with cutting the spending, getting spending under control. You know, uh, Senator Chris Van Hollen, uh, who we wanted to speak to today, who we hope will, will be here tomorrow, uh, Congressman Van Hollen, I should say, um, they're saying that they will talk after you guys agree to pass a clean CR and a clean debt ceiling. Then they want an extension uh, over that period of time as part of the agreement. Then they say they'll sit down and talk about negotiations. What do you think? What's your response? Give them what they want, and then they'll have the discussion. Martha, the American people know that that's not right. You cannot raise the debt ceiling of the United States by that kind of money that the president is requesting without having the discussion beforehand and getting the commitments beforehand about the fiscal discipline that we need now as a nation to put ourselves on a responsible, sustainable financial path. You can't just say, it's okay, Mr. President, you can now raise the debt ceiling for the sixth time without significantly discussing the problems we have in this country Understood. with spending. Thank you very much, uh, Senator Barrasso. It appears, I think the American people know across the country that we're on an unsustainable path and they want uh, Congress to, to do something about it. So good luck to you and to all of your colleagues there. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you, Senator. Thanks, Martha.